Happy Monday to you on Fox 26 Meteorologist, Ramisha Shade. We are just about three weeks away from the end of our 2023 hurricane season. Hard to believe we are almost at the end of this year. It just seems like one year goes by so quickly these days. But anyway, we are actually fairly quiet out there. We have had quite a few systems this season. Even last week, we had a couple of systems that we were tracking out there. But for today, those systems are long gone. So we are very quiet. And that basically is kind of what's expected during this portion of our hurricane season. We're in the last three weeks or so. and Typically, historically, we don't have that much tropical development out there. There's still a low risk that we could get a tropical depression, tropical storm, or even a hurricane. However, as you can see, as you get past August, September, and October, that risk for those tropical cyclones really starting to decrease. So as we check out the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean, and the Gulf of Mexico, we are very quiet. Thank goodness, nothing at all to track. No tropical waves that could blow up into tropical storms or hurricanes, nothing at all. So thank goodness things are quiet. And actually the National Hurricane Center not anticipating any tropical cyclone formation over the next seven days. So not only is this the case for the Atlantic Basin, but this is also the case for the Eastern Pacific. Of course, we had Pilar last week, but that system is out of here and we no longer are anticipating any action in the Eastern Pacific or the Atlantic Basin, at least for the next week. So things are very quiet. There's still a couple of areas of showers and storms, as you can see out across portions of the Western Caribbean, but nothing that is expected to turn into a tropical system. So those are some great words to say, quiet, quiet, quiet. Let's hope we can keep it that way for about the next three weeks or so, and then we will be finished with this hurricane season. But let's do an overview. It has been a pretty busy season, of course. At the beginning of the season, we started off with our very first system, our first name system, Arlene, and that was back at the beginning, towards the beginning of our hurricane season. Then we had Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily, Franklin, Gert. Then we went through our whole second panel of names, then down to Ophelia, Philippe, Rena, Sean, and then Tammy, and we've still got two names left. We did have a fairly high chance last week that we would have vents in the Caribbean, but that didn't quite pan out. That system kind of weakened, never really got its act together. And we still have Vince and Whitney on that list of potential names to be used for this hurricane season. So far, though, we've had 20 named storms, seven hurricanes, including three major hurricanes this season. So that definitely puts us above average for the number of named storms and right around what we normally expect in an average season for our hurricanes and for our major hurricanes. Seven hurricanes expected, three major hurricanes on average. And this average is taken from 1991 all the way through 2020. This is one good sign that we haven't seen basically all season long. These water temps have been sizzling out there, super steamy like bath water. They've been well into the 80s, even some 90s showing up at times. But this is nice to see. Notice these sea surface temps, these buoys showing water temperatures now down to the middle to upper 70s instead of low 90s right off of the southern tip of Florida. 76 degrees for the north central northeastern Gulf of Mexico and portions of the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Those water temps in the upper 70s right around 80 for western parts of the Gulf of Mexico. So still warm water, but it is starting to cool off and that kind of signals that yes, we are getting close to the end of our hurricane season and that threat is starting to go down day by day. Water temperatures still out in the Atlantic, still on the warm side in some spots, but overall we only have three weeks left. So don't let your guard down completely. The chance is very low that we would have a tropical cyclone develop and come our way. I don't think it will happen over the next week. And then after that, we only have two more weeks really to watch to see if anything were to develop. After that, hurricane season is over with. So like I said, stay alert. The chance is very low, but for now, I don't think you have to worry about any tropical action heading to Southeast Texas, at least for 
throughout the rest of this week. Of course, we still want you to make sure that you have everything weather related that you need at your fingertips. So if you haven't already, make sure to head to the App Store, search for Fox 26 and make sure to download our Fox 26 weather app. You can get all of your tropical weather, forecast cones, any alerts that would come out from the tropics or any other weather issues. Of course, we could have some very heavy rain by the end of the work week. So if we do get any flood watches or other flood alerts, you will be able to get those as well. So all things are quiet in the tropics. Let's celebrate that in hopes it sticks around for the next few weeks. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Have a great evening.